Hello, welcome back. Well, shotgun advice from Bruce Lee. Well, he was certainly a fantastic athlete. And what is this advice from Bruce Lee that we can transfer to our sport of shotgunning? Well, Bruce Lee in one of his videos said, to clear the mind, we have to become shapeless and formless. And he says, if you pour water into a glass, it becomes a glass. If you pour water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. And so what can we take from those words from Bruce Lee? Well, really it's saying that we have to be one with the gun. So the gun has to, be, has to become part of us. It's got to fit us well. Once it fits us well, it becomes part of the gun and our body moves with the gun. We just don't move the gun. Our whole body swivels with the gun. So we have to be one with the gun. The other important thing is to clear our mind, to think positive thoughts and to concentrate. And then we will shoot good scores. A few months ago, I made it to B grade and with an average of about 23. And so in January of 2017, I made it to B grade. For the past few months, I've been trying to get that extra 4% to make it to A grade. And a lot of you out there will probably be in my situation, having just gone to B grade a few months ago, and then, of course, we all aspire to go up the grades. And my aspiration is to make it to A grade in a few months' time, or as soon as possible. And that journey is proving to be very hard. For three months now, I've been trying to get one extra target out of 25, which is just 4%, to raise my average by 4%, from 90% to 94 and that is proving very, very elusive. And so, what is the one thing that I can do to try and get, or a few things that I can do, to try and get that one extra target per 25 targets? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to have a higher gun hold. So at the moment, I hold level with the front lip of the trap house. But from now on, I'm going to try, just for a few weeks, see if it has, makes any difference. You've got to give it, you can't just try it for one day. You've got to give it a go for a few weeks and see if having a slightly higher gun hold will get me that one target out of 25. The reason for the higher gun hold is that the movement to the target is a bit shorter, and so the shorter it is, the more repeatable and consistent it should be. So the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to practice my gun mount at least two or three times a week. I'm just going to get the gun out of the case and just practice mounting the gun at home two or three times a week. Because... The, as we've always said, consistent gun mount is really, really important. And I'm thinking that out of 25 targets, my gun mount might be a bit sloppy once or twice out of 25. So I'm going to do that. The other thing I'm going to try is I never shoot with blinders on my shooting glasses. But I am going to now use blinders because it will make me not aware of people on my left or my right. It'll give me more tunnel vision to the target. And they say it takes two or three weeks to get used to blinders. So I'm going to give that a go. See if that will get me that one extra target out of 25. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make 100% sure that before I call for that bird, I am 100% ready. I think sometimes I call Paul and I'm not really 100% ready. And if you're not 100% ready, then you haven't got a 100% chance of hitting that clay. The one thing I'm not going to do is tweak my gun. 
I'm not going to change my gun at all. I went to practice today, this very day, and I shot a 23. I shot a 22, first round, a 24, the second round, and a 23, the third round. So I shot a 22, a 24, and a 23. And that still doesn't give me my 94%. And so I'm still in search of that extra 4%. But I want to tell you one thing that I did two weeks ago, which I will never do again. I went to practice. I shot the first round. This was two weeks ago. And I shot a 24. So I went back to my car and I thought, oh, I'm just going to tweak my gun a little bit. Get that extra one target. So I moved my cone two millimetres to the right. So I thought, see what that does. I went and shot another round of 25 and I shot a 22. So it certainly didn't help. So I went back to my car after that round and I thought, maybe I'm shooting a little bit low. So I lifted, I put one spacer. I put one extra spacer to raise the, the comb. And I went back and shot another round and shot a 19. So I thought, well, this is hopeless. So I went back to the car, put the stock back the way it was. I put it exact back exactly the way it was because I took out a spacer and I've got a mark with permanent texture for cast on and off. So I put it back against that black texture mark in there and I went and shot the next round of it and I shot a 24. So that is a perfect lesson in do not mess with your gun. Once you're shooting 23s, 24s, it's not the gun, it's us. So leave, let's leave the gun alone. So I'll let you know how that goes. They're the things that I'm going to change, and hopefully I'll be able to get that extra 4%. Stay well, happy shooting, hope that was useful, and I'll see you next time.